Hello guys, it's KJ and welcome guys back to another FIFA 20 Herb Lab Secret Mode episode. This is episode number 20 and in this episode we're not gonna play any games but we're gonna sign some good players. So, uh, I want to sign a few wingers because I don't like uh, my, uh, I don't like Justin Kloivert even though he played very good football in the last episode and uh, I also would like to sell Haidara because Gakpo, I don't want, I, I, I just decided to not sell him because even though I told you that I'm, I don't like the way he plays but uh, I, I just realized that he is still a very young player and he has a pretty good potential, I don't know his potential but he looks like an, a very, like an like a very good prospect so I probably gonna keep him in the club and um, plus I signed him this uh, previous summer chance window so I don't wanna uh, uh, let him go so Lukman will play yeah he will he will be in the starting 11 but Gakpo will uh, will stay but Haidara should be sold because I uh, he's he's still young yeah but I don't like his work rate and his uh, and even though he has pretty good statistics but he is a bit more uh, defend uh, defensive winger and he he he's a he is a center midfielder you know but we are using him as a right midfielder but uh, maybe we can keep him in the club but he would be a pretty good option for in in that center midfield area because we have our the hood but if we need some defensive players we have Adams Lamer and Haidara so maybe I I could do something like this but but Kloivert, I think I'm I I probably should sell this guy because uh, he only get, has good dribbling and pace, but his shooting, passing, his defending, and his physical physicality, uh, these all stats are just not good enough. And uh, Martinelli, he is also terrible, even though he's young. And I made a wrong decision. I made a wrong decision when I so signed him because uh, we are not we are not doing a youth, a youth youth academy career mode. We're just going for all titles. So signing this young guy, we still needs to grow. Uh, it was a pr it, it was a, pr a mistake. But apart from that, I I, I like my defensive. Play Players. I like my goalkeeper. Golashi is already 87 overall, and Vago is a pretty good reserve goalkeeper. Strikers, we have Paul and Cunha, uh, Timo Werner, but obviously we have Sabitza, uh, Wolf, Pereira. If something bad will happen, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you those two players that I want to sign in this episode. So those players are Robert Skov and uh, Nemanja Rodonic, so from Serbia and from Denmark. So they are both 24 years of age, and they're, he is 6 foot 1, this guy's cough is 6 foot tall, and he is left footed player, he is right footed player. And the reason why I want to sign Skov is because he is a right winger, and uh, we need to improve that area, and plus he can shoot with his, with his left foot, and that is absolutely incredible. And uh, because Lukman is a right-footed player and he can't score those finesse shots into those top left corners so using having Skov in the team it would help us to uh, provide more uh, great attacks and it will help us to score a lot more goals in those uh, important moments of the match uh, in those in those important matches so Nemanja Rodonic obviously is a player that I never signed before and Skov is also this uh, is also a player that I never signed before but uh, Rodonic is also is he's a new player uh, and uh, a lot of people they're not going for these kind of players but I like to sign players that I that I never used and I, that I know and that that I don't know you know so uh, he's left winger he can play as a as a right winger but obviously we, we would use him in that left area so he's a, his work rates are medium medium right footed player that is absolutely incredible and he's and they're both very tall and uh, he obviously Skov has three trades, but uh, Rodonic has one trade. But I think he is going to be a bit better than Kloivert and uh, and uh, and this guy uh, Claude Maurice. So I don't know if he's going to st if he's going to play in the starting eleven straight away. But uh, but we will give him some time, and I think that he is going to be a, 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 these two players are going to be a pretty good uh, talents in our squad. So I'm still gonna scout them. I'm gonna because I want to see their ratings. I want to see their stats. And only then I'm gonna uh, make my final deci decision. So I have to wait for ten days. So uh, guys, I will I will scout them and I will come back. So my scout came back with a final scout report and uh, uh, Skov is 77 overall, Rodonic is 75 overall and uh, I don't think that I'm gonna sign Rodonic because he has a release clause of 17 million euros and uh, and he already accepted a transfer offer from Sampdoria and he's uh, joining this club so I'm probably not gonna sell, not gonna sign this guy. So I'm probably gonna delete him from this short shortlist. And uh, he's 24 years of age, and he's only 75. And uh, Skov is uh, he he is 24 years old as well, but he's 7 77 overall. And I think that we he would be a lot more useful. So uh, I'm probably not gonna sell Kloivert. I I just 
I'm probably gonna give him another chance and we still have six months to go so I think that he will step up and he's already improving so uh, I, I, I think I'm, I'm not gonna sign another, a new left winger but I want to sign this guy because Haidara will play as a center midfielder and uh, Gakpo with Lukman will play on, the, on that right wing but Skov is absolutely incredible guys and uh, it would be an incredible signing and uh, he is a left he's a left footed player and that's the biggest reason why I want this guy and I know that he's a very good and talented player and uh, so I'm not going to give anyone because I want to keep every I want to keep everyone in the club but I will give them 11 million euros or maybe I should give them 12 million euros because it is it is his value and uh, they want 15.6 but I'm gonna reduce this amount of money to 13.6 and I think this time which is going to be no it's not safe but I'm gonna reduce this amount of money to 14 million euros and uh, that's a fair offer so he will be he will be important I'm, I'm not go I'm not gonna say that he's going to be crucial because we still have some uh, competition in that area so I'm gonna give him four years uh, so he accepted this offer that's incredible and he release clause no release clause that is perfect and now uh, now it uh, I have to offer wages so that's that's not a problem I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him 50k per week because I have a lot of money and and, and the money is not a problem in this club so that's a fair offer he accepted this deal and he, and the client is happy so that means that scoff is going to be a very good player in this team and scoff 85 pace 79 shooting 76 passing dribbling is not that good, but but you know dribbling is not the most important thing for me uh, Defending is good and physicality is very great and so that is absolutely incredible guys And he's a per very outstanding player. He's not short. He can play in one position So that means that he is a proper winger and he can play uh, He can shoot with his left foot. He is uh, obviously his uh, Work rates are not the best medium medium, but I think that's pretty that's pretty okay because he can defend and he can score So if you if we need a player that can score a lot of goals uh, so we can use Lukman, but if we need just to play uh, If we just need to a player that can just control the game So scoff is the best option and his stamina is pretty good. So that means that he will be able to play uh, a lot a lot more throughout the game and he has more traits than Lukman so he he's a better player but obviously Lukman is a bit younger so he can he also has some time to uh, in, uh, he also has some time to improve so Gakpo will will be on in the in that reserve squad but oh Skov is not that good yet uh, I just realized that Gakpo has increased to 78 overall so probably I'm not gonna give a chance to Skov yet but I'm gonna Keep him on the bench. Martinelli will not be playing in the screen mode. I don't. I don't think so because we just have so many, so much competition in that in those in in that winger position. So it is absolutely crucial for us to win a, a lot of games. So we just can't give those chances for those young players like Pereira and uh, Martinelli. So let's take a look at our morale and Gulashi and Vago. All these players are very happy. And uh, all these players are happy. Obviously, Skov, Pausen, and Cunha, Wolf, they're not playing that much, so they can't be happy. So they can't be happy. And talking about the statistics, Sabitza, I, I, I already sh uh, showed you this, these stats. So Sabitza, he has 15 goals, and it is absolutely incredible. So in total, he has uh, 20, uh, I believe, 28 goals. Uh, in two seasons, so it's absolutely beautiful and Timo Werner he has 12 goals But he still has to three more games to play and he can he can still score more goals than Sabitza and uh, Yeah, a lot of a lot of our players are scoring goals in this career mode For example, Kloivert star started his show in the last season uh, not in the last season in the in the last episode and uh, Let's take a look at the statistics club record 50 uh, 50 wins 9 draws 11 losses uh, We scored 138 goals. We conceded 53 goals. We played 70 games. So yeah record record transfer fee 46 million euros a biggest defeat 3-0 to Le Bar Leverkusen and biggest win 6-0 against Köln and clubs uh, I also I managed only one club and this is my second season guys. I also forgot to take a look at our uh, Shirt sales so Sabitza he is He's just, he's just destroying the Bundesliga. He's just the he's the best player in this club, and obviously he's the player that sells that selling off the the biggest amount of shirts. And Timo Werner in the second place, Hwasem Awar obviously in the third place. I absolutely I, I don't think that Awar should be in that third place, but I think that Gulashi or uh, Claude Maurice should be in that third place. But I think that goalkeepers they're not 
uh, going to be in that top three. So I think that only attacking attacking players can be in that area. So our next game is against Augsburg. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna play. And as you guys can see, Barn they got a draw. And that means that if we can win this next, if we can win this next game against Augsburg at home, we will overtake them. So they uh, they got a draw against Borussia. Who? Oh, I knew that they gonna play against Borussia and they managed to get a draw. So that is absolutely incredible because now if we're gonna win this game, we're gonna have 47 points, and that means that we have five points. Uh, we have more. Po uh, we have five points more than Borussia, and we're gonna have two points more than Barn and. Uh, if we can smash Augsburg, we will we, we will Im improve our goal difference. So that is absolutely super. It would be absolutely superb. And uh, and then we're playing against Bar Leverkusen, and they're sitting in that third position. So it is absolutely it is going to be a, a very interesting game. Uh, and yeah, so I'm probably gonna do something like uh, I'm gonna record the video. I'm gonna edit that, and then I'm gonna just talk and watch with you guys. So hopefully that that, that I will make a, a lot of new type videos. I will use a lot more animations, and you probably guys saw some new animations in this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed them. I'm I'm working on them a, a lot right now, and so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to my channel, guys, and also let me know what you think about our new transfer uh, scarf from Denmark. And uh, also let me know what you think about our team chances of winning all these titles and uh, should i sign some new players so leave your comments in this in in the, in the section in that section below it would be much appreciated guys so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one very soon peace